Do you want to know how the babies is made? We'll let you know how the babies is made. Stay tuned. Hey, you stay there? You better be there, because we're about to get into some juicy stuff. Girl, somebody tell me about that old way we about to talk about what it is in my vagina. That old Genesis word, yeah, that that what it is. That what it is. Look at the Zakota. Is it the Zakota? Zakota or the Zakota? The egg travels through the uterus, through the fallopian tube, into the follicles. After the egg is released, it moves into the fallopian tubes. It stays there for about 24 hours waiting on a single sperm to fertilize it. All this happens about two, or four, two weeks after your last period. If the egg isn't fertilized, it moves through the uterus and deter it disintegrates. Your hormone levels go back to normal and you, your body sheds a thick lining of uterus and your period starts. But if one single sperm makes its way into the fallopian tube and burrows into the egg, it fertilizes the egg and the egg changes so that no other sperm can get in. Okay, and during the process of implantation, the egg stays in the fallopian tube for about three to four days. Oh, young buck. All oh, this knowledge just got my mind just going crazy. Mmm, now I see why all the little girls out here is pregnant. I see why they all getting pregnant out here. Do and I do? Do and I do with daddy? You just remember. And when I say remember, remember, you will get a little one like this. Keep playing. Get it ready for the blooper. Get it ready for the blooper. Get it ready, get it ready for the blooper. Oh, that's it. P.S. When you see a boy come towards your way, please run. Because you never know if he has a child, an STD, or HIV. So to be safe, don't go near that fool. <laughs> 